Okay, it's just a quick video covering the airflow meter here and how it turns on your fuel pump. So if you look in the manual, you've got the airflow meter here with connector A4, which is this connector up here. You see it's a seven pin connector, black, and that corresponds to the connector there. So if you look closely, you can see the way it turns on this uh, relay, the, what's known as the circuit opening relay to turn on fuel pump is wire number four, yellow and green, goes over to pin number one. And there's a switch inside the airflow meter that rounds that to E1. And if you follow this E1 uh, brown wire, it splices in at E11 which is a splice point in there, and it, the ground terminates at C, chassis ground C, which is that guy right there. And that also gains in your uh, injector grounds, as I remember, fuel injector grounds. So if we look at this connector here, and we want to see inside the air flow meter, and look at this little switch, what we got to do is pop this guy open. So to do that, you got to take a razor blade and very carefully cut around the outside and open up that, that gasket kind of silicone seal and then you can pop this guy open here and it also helps to take like a, a sharp pick and pull out of the, all the uh, silicone and you can see there where I burnt my hand the other day on the on the header but if you if you open this guy up and you follow pins uh, one and two, which is the FC and E1. You can see they come to a little lead here, and there's actually a little mechanical switch. And when the door flap, flaps open, the first thing that happens is see that little relay right there? That closes as soon as you get any airflow going to the motor, and that little relay right there is what is responsible for grounding out uh, FC, which is your fuel control. So. When you ground out FC, that's the little switch doing it. So you better make sure those contacts are clean in there. And also, pin number two has got to have uh, a path to ground. So that means this harness right here, all the way around your firewall that loops over and gangs in under here, there's a splice point in the harness up under there where that brown wire from your airflow meter comes around and gets in the mix over here and then grounds out right there and that also that wire also splices in over here and runs back into the kick panel to your ECU so if you're having problems with this uh, circuit opening relay not working but you've eliminated the relay as a possible source of problems then start looking to see if that uh, little switch inside the airflow meter is working and also check to see if you have a continuity to ground from E1, which is pin number two, back to some uh, ground on the, uh, on, the, on the chassis and or the motor. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any questions, use the comment section below. Thanks.